I beg of you, please, just leave this city. Where did this come from? Oh, I knew this would happen. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So please, get out of our town. But, uh, but, uh... Oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No. This is not an offer. It's an honest request. Please. I'm begging you. Please leave. H hey! I wouldn't trust a kid. Even if he's kneeling on the ground. He's obviously tricking us. I do not intend to trick you. I'm serious. You are free. But Nagisa, if you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad. I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Hey, I told you to wait. What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um. Oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? Of course she is. This is what she wanted all this time. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Omaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Her feelings? Sh shut up. You have no right to say that. It's going to be all right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Let's go. Nagisa! Don't follow us. Uh, but... You don't want Monica to hate you, do you? Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. This way. All right, hi everyone. Just to clarify some things, um, there are some recording issues with a couple of moments. How does a non-normal kid run? So I'm just gonna be re-recording. Um, the second half of chapter four recorded just fine, but the first half didn't. And then, um, same with the final bits of the game. So I'm just re-recording everything. Um, re-recording bits that need to be re-recorded. So you'll probably see with like my save screen, there's a star next to one of the saves. Um, because of that. Just do a new one there just to be safe. Okay. All right, so it does have a star still. Okay. Okay, battery is full. Well, everything's full.
And that's the play at the same difficulty. You can um, select the chapters and select the like reselect your difficulty. So just to keep things consistent, I kept the difficulty the same. This way. Follow me closely. I'm not sure why, but in the cutscenes, they've decided to keep the... Let's... Please dance. And you stay still, please. Paralyze you, fuckers. The, uh, I don't know why, but they decided not to translate his um, voice acting at all um, for the for some for the cutscenes. He and you can tell by the laugh pretty much because um, the Japanese laugh is boop, 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 boop. and the American one is. Boop, 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 boop. A little different. I don't know why. Damn, okay. I did that the hard way the first time. But that's the easy way. <laughs> I thought you said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. This is strange. What in the world is this? Hey, you weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then they must have found out you betrayed them. B betrayal? Me? No, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. Okay, I don't know. Something's a little strange with the recording. Let's Is it recording? Okay, it's recording my voice. I'm just double checking. I have the headphones plugged in. Everywhere. I'm getting sick of this. So if I can hear myself, it should be fine. Um, which way did we come from? Okay. The secret passageway is this way. Okay, well, let's see if I can find any shinies. Shiny little books and things. Ooh. 
can get me some paralyzed bullets. And one of the good things about replaying this is that you realize better strategies. <laughs> a few more, yeah. Can do the thing again. Oh shit, I failed. A world like this. It's wrong. Just wrong. So you want to try to get them explode. Don't go, go away. first time I used like a whole bunch of paralyzed shots. Also another part of the reason why I'm re-recording re um, chapter 4 was because some of it went missing. I lost a good deal of it. Not all of chapter 4, just some big parts. Still up there. Let's just 
the easy way to do this and better way alright so we're supposed to go that way um, we can't go down that yet the hold moon thing with the cow let's check this out over here I don't remember if I missed anything over here, but I know I've missed a few things. You know, there are a couple items I never got. And those Monokuma kids as well. This way. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. You... You think so? Rather unfortunate, I can't look at the that stuff again. Like, pretty much requires knocking them back, but that's like damn near impossible. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. to do now. Don't come near me! Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. So... 
so cruel. This is too cruel. I won't look, but even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons, our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? We Warriors of Hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers, but I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble, but that's not right. Our troubles were created by adults, by our parents. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst, like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents. So we didn't fight it. Instead, we bonded over our struggle. And those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage, to fight back instead of running away. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of, our lives. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. The dream of creating a children's paradise, where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. 
to destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair-inducing. It's just insane. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth, and because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Our parents. You killed your parents? That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable, but... Just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Killed by some idiot. When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. But Monica didn't despair. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished, and we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I wanna know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. H hey Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. After all this time, still saying something so naive, it seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. 